How you doing? Buddy Isaac's here. Oh man, let me tell y'all what. I've been out metal detecting for my third time all day long, pretty much. And I'm wore out. I've been all up and down these hills and stuff. And I mean, you look around and you see all these trees and all this forest and stuff. And you say, how, how do you metal detect down there? Well, used to them trees wasn't here. Back in the 30s and 40s, there used to be houses all over the country, you know. And these old roads going up and down these hills. And I figured it's a pretty nice day today. I think I'll walk some of these old roads and stuff. And I'll tell you what, you'd be surprised. I got a table full of stuff I'm going to show y'all. I'll just give you a quick glance right now. A lot of it's junk, but I do got a few things that I'm going to show you that I ain't looked at yet myself. I just pick them up and put them in my pocket. Uh, but, oh man. Yeah, I thought I'd stop and set up and do a video right quick here on the table. And I'd like to give a big uh, shout out and a hello to all my new friends and followers in Southern Europe. And I really appreciate y'all, you know, watching this channel. And I hope y'all have fun watching me, you know, do some of these videos. I didn't get to film any digs today because, well, my camera went dead. But I'm definitely going to do that next time I go. I will be prepared, so I owe y'all that. But again, you know, I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate all y'all watching, you know, because... You never know what you're going to find in the dirt, okay? It's like you got all this stuff on this side that you can see, and then you got all this stuff down there that you can't. Well, unless you got one of these. And uh, i tell you what. I, I like it. I really enjoy this. It's my new hobby. And we're going to do this all summer long. I hope you all uh, hang on for the ride, and maybe we can find something unbelievable. You never know. A lot of stuff happened around this area back in the day, you know, back in the 30s and 40s and all the way back into the 1850s and 60s. There's a lot of stuff come through here. So, who knows, you know. First thing we're going to talk about today is uh, we're going to look at some of my junk, I think. All right, first piece, it's an old uh, crisp can. Can't really tell what the date is on it. It's in pretty bad shape. So, you know, probably won't be cleaning that up very much. So we'll just put that over here to the side. Then I got this, I don't know, it looks like a can top that somebody's got a hole out in or something. I thought it was a washer, but it's definitely aluminum because, you know, I had my metal detector set pretty high frequency, so, but it's still picking up this aluminum, so I need to go just a little bit higher with it. And I got this old piece of tinfoil. Yep. <laughs> and then I got this old can. Don't look like much. Don't worry, we're getting to the good stuff. Okay. And then I got enough nails to build a house. I got these for, they used to, they use these fencing. Uh, I don't even remember what they're called, staples, I guess. They drove them into a fence post. I don't ever remember a fence being over here, but I found several of them right over here. So definitely that's been a long time ago. I did find a fence going through a big oak tree about this big around out there. And the fence went right through the middle of it. So that tells you a little something there. Then I found some modern nails. You know, that's pretty modern right there. It looks like just regular old nail. And uh, some pieces of barbed wire. That's old. Broke right off. Huh, did y'all see that? But yeah, barbs ain't even sharp on it no more. I don't ever remember a barbed wire fence over here either. But and then I found stuff as small as staples. Well, I don't know why a staple would be down here, but I found staples. I found one, two, three, looks like about four of them. Now some of these nails, like like this one for instance. All right, that that nail right there is old. That is an old nail. So they've been something definitely built back here at one time. All right. Well, they got this. I don't have no idea what it is. It's just a little square piece of metal. I think it's aluminum. No idea what it would have come off of. I have no idea. 
I say, hang on. And then I found this. Not really sure what it is either, but it's old. Just a little piece of it. It looks like a little latch. Looks like it's got a little latch on it there. And so I have, like I said, again, I have no idea what this stuff is. Now some of it I do, but I ain't really had a lot of time today. You know, I've been kind of trying to rush it up because it's starting to get late. According to the sun, it's about four, almost five o'clock. I still got to walk all the way up this mountain. So, and then we get into some of the interesting stuff. All right, this, I ain't, been, I ain't cleaned it up yet. Let me see if we can figure this out here. Oh, I'm going to give y'all an update on the thing I found last week, too. I'm getting pretty close to figuring out what that is. This is a, it looks like a button. Now, I don't know if y'all can see it real good or not. See that? It's got a nice little design on it there. I found that. It buried about six, eight inches in the ground. I'm going to clean this stuff up, and uh, I'll be putting some pictures on my Facebook page. Y'all need to check that out. Okay, so I thought that was pretty neat. I thought right there is the find of the day, okay? I don't know what that is. All right. And then, I found my first coin. Yes, that is a coin. I have no idea what it is. Again, it was about six to eight inches in the ground. Uh, I'm going to try to go home, clean it up a little bit. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to push it too much because I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it. It's pretty thin. I think it's pretty sure it's a penny, but I don't know what kind of penny. But yeah, I did. I found my first coin. Now it may be, it may not be that old. Then again, it may be. So I mean, who knows? Like I said, I don't know what's happened down here or why that would be buried eight inches in the dirt. I think there used to be an old garden down here, so. But there used to be a house set right here somewhere, and they used to have a garden in the back. So, I mean, they could actually, it could be not that old, just plowed under, you know. But I'm going to go home and clean that up, and we're going to see if we can figure out what that is. And then this one. Now this is another button. But I don't know. i got to clean that up, too. No, it ain't. That ain't a button. I can't tell what that is. See that? And it's got the, looks like that on the back. That could be like an old shotgun shell or something. A type of old shotgun shell. I don't know that. I'm going to clean it up and see. I think it is. I think it's just the old, old end of a shotgun shell. I believe that's what that is because I'm pretty sure it says. I can't really tell what it says. But. But anyway, it's been an interesting day. Okay, I, I mean, I've actually found some stuff. But the, the coin was probably, probably my biggest thing. Is that, you know, I always said, I said I wanted to find a coin. That's all I want, I just want to find a coin. I found a coin. Now I want to find more, you know. Just keep finding coins. I want to find a lot of stuff. I'm starting to get into this, now I enjoy it. So yeah, but the, the thing I found last week, it was a big old button about this big around. It said progress right across the front of it. And I've looked it up and I've had several people tell me what it could be. And the uh, best thing I can figure right now is it was a, uh, it was like an old uh, emblem or like an appliance. And I think the pl appliance has come out of Louisville, Kentucky. It was called, uh, what was it called? I can't remember, but anyway, they made these appliances in Louisville, Kentucky. It was like the Progress brand. And I'm pretty sure, almost positive, that that's what that is. But now when it showed up on my meter, it showed up as silver. Come to find out, the letters are actually inlaid in silver. It's actually got a little bit of silver lining. Well, <laughs> that's funny. It might, that's, that's another pun, okay? That's got a silver lining to it. And it did. And uh, But actually, it's got a little silver in it. And I was pretty excited about that. So... I got the penny, and I got that pen, and then I got this button. Man, this button's got me wondering what in the world that could possibly be. And that is old. You can tell. Look at that. You can tell how old it is. I'm to wipe it off so I can see it. 
I don't know. Pretty neat though. But anyway, I'm gonna research that stuff and, and uh, I'll bring next week or next time I do one of these videos. It's starting to warm up, so it's time to really get out and kick it in the high gear right now. My brother, my brother's buying him a metal detector. He is not gonna let me sit at home, okay? So we're gonna be metal detectors. And I'm gonna take my camera and make sure it's fully charged this time, and we're actually gonna film some good digs and something we get good hits on. 90% of the stuff on this table is junk. But if you don't dig, you have to dig junk in order to find treasure, okay? You never know what's laying there. You never know what's down there. You can't, it ain't like you can see in the ground. If you get a, you get your metal detector and you get a head on it, you might as well just dig it up, all right? Now, I got mine set to a high frequency. I've not been digging in uh, very much, you know, anything that shows up in iron. And a lot of the stuff I found these holes in actually had these nails in with it. I got this little pinpointer dude right here. And that right there will just, you know, it'll pretty much pick up anything. I need to clean that up. That right there, man, I'm telling you, I like it. You're talking about handy. Listen, you get a big pile of dirt, all you got to do is just sift through it. And when you hit it, it'll beat. And there it is, you know, man. And, uh, but anyway. Oh, yeah, we're going to, it's, it's getting to be some exciting times now. Buddy Isaac's got a metal detector. So now, now I can look for a Sasquatch while I metal detect. And hopefully I can get something on video, at least something I can dig out of the dirt, you know what I mean? But it's getting late. I think I'm gonna head on up toward the house and find me a snack. May order some pizza. Now, I think I'll order pizza now. That'd be good. But again, you know, last week, week before last, my video is already up to over 1,400 views. I never thought. In October the 28th, 2015, when I put my first video on face on YouTube, I never thought for a second that I'd be standing here with 1,400 people watching these videos. And I want to say I appreciate it. I never was one that ever would stand in front of a camera. I was one of them in class that I wouldn't do the assignment just so I wouldn't have to get up in front of everybody and talk about it. You know what I mean? Now I don't care. Now I'm standing out here doing these videos at least once a week. going to try to start doing them more. I've actually done two this week, and the other one's already up close to 200 views. And uh, the more views I get, the more videos I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Because it gets me excited. If somebody's watching these videos and they're thinking, man, that, that guy's all right, you know, I enjoy it. We'll get out and get you some more content. But, yeah, this is my actually, this is actually my first actual metal detecting trip. That it, the rest of the time, I just out here just trying it out. When I found that thing, that uh, progress uh, nameplate, I was right over there in the edge of the woods. I didn't expect to get up. I had no idea what I was doing. But I've been practicing, been working with it just a little bit. Got me a pretty good metal detector. Well, I say pretty good. It's awesome. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you can see. It's pretty good. I like it. It's blue. Got a nice little screen on it there. I'm telling you, I like it. It tells me what it is before I dig it up. Most of the, you know, I mean, I mean, it's you know, you're gonna find different stuff. Okay, I mean, that, that's that comes with anything. But it's been pretty close to accurate. It's been been pretty accurate so far. I like it. And this right here, man, that's helpful too. But I'm telling you, I gotta go home clean my stuff up. <sighs> but anyway. I want to say thanks again, and uh, you know, welcome everybody that watches in Southern Europe and uh, all over the United States and wherever you're watching from. I say I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and uh, share these videos when you see them on Facebook and stuff. I share them all over the place. You know what I mean? Maybe you know, even even if you don't like them, somebody might. Well, this money has it, so I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna go grab me a snack. Think about where I'm going to go metal detecting the next day it's warm. Hmm. I have to watch the weather. No, I ain't watching the weather. I don't watch the weather no more. Weather ain't never right anymore around here. I mean, <laughs> oh, Kentucky. That's Buddy Isaacs. Y'all take care of yourself and each other and keep an eye out of the woods. And metal detecting underground, I guess. Y'all take care.
And I went, 